What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? <laughs> We're gonna come today. All this higher, darling. All this higher. <laughs> okay, shall we get started? What's up, guys? Today's video is going to be me testing out really virally popular but yet strange and weird products that have floated all around the internet and have made people's minds go crazy and everybody is super excited for. Yeah. These products you have definitely seen on the internet multiple times and uh, I'm here to crack the code to see if they are a gimmick or not. And we're gonna test out all the products today. I have the 3D Kabuki brush. I have a new rainbow highlighter. I have the peel off foundation, the roller wheel, the roller wheel liner, things like that. And yeah, basically we're going to try it all out and see like, girl, is it a gimmick? I'm really excited. I hope you guys are excited. I'm excited. I haven't tried these products out before yet. By the way, these are all like a brand new moment for me. And uh, yeah, they can be a brand new moment for both of us and we can try them out together. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and jump into the video. But before we do that, you know we gotta sing a special little song. Let's sing it. B. Ooh. And we'll go ahead and jump right into the video. Do you guys ever notice that whenever I snap, this hand is way weaker snapper? It's just sad, it's pitiful, but this one's going strong, honey. This has been like such a crazy week and it's Sunday right now, so the week just got started, but I mean, last week was so cray cray, that's the way way, because we exposed my palette, we revealed it, we exposed it. We revealed my palette to the world and the feedback was absolutely unfreaking real and it made me really excited and it gave me just such a joyous, happy feeling. So I cannot thank you guys enough for that. Like I absolutely cannot thank you enough for that moment. We're just chit chatting now and you guys are like, hello, is she gonna try out the products or not? Okay. I think first off we should try out the whole pill off foundation thing. Now what that actually is, is not a foundation. It's a product that you put on your skin. And I saw the thumbnails and I thought, though I thought it was a foundation. Like my brain was literally tricked and then I realized it wasn't a foundation. It's a product that you put on your skin to cover if you have a big bump or if you have a situation going on that you don't want the texture to show up and you wanna be able to put foundation on. Even if you have like a lot of texture, it's supposed to be able to help. You're able to rub it on the areas, let it dry, put foundation on top of it, but then it peels off. I haven't seen the best reviews on this product, but we're still gonna give it a fair shot. Here it is, it's called Real Skin Patch. Oh, this is gonna freak me out a little bit, putting it on my skin, but we have to do it for the tube. It's just a, it's a clear gel seeping down my hand. <laughs> so creepy. Oh, it's like thick. Oh my God, it's very menthol-y. I think I have to put a lot on for it to work, just being real. Like a good coating. It's so menthol-y that it's kind of like burning my eyes. Like the chemicals like make my eyes want to water, water, water. It's very sticky. It's drying fast. It says it's made in Korea. I'm just trying to give you all the 411 on it in case you want to get it. I got this off of Amazon, by the way, in case you're wondering. We're going to put some on the forehead. I mean, this could be a genius product if you have like a big zit and your foundation just isn't, isn't having it. Let's do the nose and then we should be good. I'm letting it dry. I feel very strange with this on my face. Cool, so we are pretty much dry. I'm now gonna apply a liquidy foundation. And we're gonna apply my foundation with the 3D Kabuki brush because we're gonna kill two birds with one stone and we're gonna go ahead and try out this interesting brush. So it just has a point on it. It feels very soft. This is made by Sigma and it's called, oh, sorry, it's a 4D HD Kabuki brush. I was saying that completely wrong. It's like a little temple on there and we're gonna put, I feel weird putting product on it. Like, oh, it's so soft though. You can get up in your corners. Sigma is so innovative with their products. It's always really interesting to me, interesting to me what they come out with. And it is gliding on top of the real skin patch very nicely until we got right here. Oh, oh my God, no it's not. Oh my God, it's like starting to uplift. <sighs> Guys, what just happened? I like the brush. I like the brush. I just got it on my lip. But what is happening with this, this, this product? <laughs> what is happening y'all? What is happening? Trying to be really soft so we don't uplift our skin patch. 
Oh my god, I keep on. It literally just hurt me so bad twice, and I'm not being dramatic. The metal on this brush right here, like whenever you try to tap, it's like popping me in the nose, and it hurts. So because it's you don't blend like this with it, you blend sideways. You blend sideways. It is, you know, it could. Okay. What the hell? We got some, oh, this is just not good. I like the brush. It's just like the corners are super kind of sharp actually. And they just like hurt whenever they hit you because you're not blending padding. You're going sideways with it. So the corners are way more liable to hit you. So that's a little with the brush, but I don't not like the brush. So with that being said, let me get a close up. Girl, it looks like my skin is falling off. This is not the real skin patch. This is the fake skin patch, okay? It looks like some Freddy Cougar stuff right here going on. Look at that. Look at that piece of foundation. This is just a freaking mess. I think more people, oh! I think more people got further along with this product and were was able to try it out throughout the day. But like, it's just such a freaking mess that like, I mean, why would I wait to see if it wore good whenever it didn't even apply well with foundation? I'm not gonna recommend Real Skin Patch to ya or the Pillowy Foundation trending viral thing going around. I'm not recommending it to you guys. It's it was a flop. It was it was a gimmick. It was a gimmick. It was a gimmick. I got a bunch of different versions of them. Some were great, some don't work at all. Some are just like gimmick. So we are going to try this one out and see the tea. I got fingerprints all over this mirror and it's kind of making me disgusted looking at it. I'm like, Aah! I'm not even OCD about things like that. I know some of my viewers are and you're screaming right now at home. You're gonna throw your phone. I know here, I'll cover it for you. It's just bothering me right then and there. Anyways, this is a really light pastel -y highlight. This is the box that it came in. It says Mermaid Glow on it. And then I have my Y36 uh, highlight brush, which we're going to uh, try it out. So I'm just going to flicker it. I think you're always supposed to do this with these highlights. Okay. It's very subtle right now. Maybe let's get a little more. Oh, okay. It just came to life. She just came to life. I don't know if you can see, it is really pretty. It's not crazy, but it's it's not even that subtle either. It's like in between, I'm still getting pilly off my face. I can't stand that. I'm like, oh, roll it off. It feels like Elmer's glue coming off my face. It feels like um, it's an in-between product. I think it would work best for a lighter skin tone because as you can see, I'm a medium skin tone and you can almost see it like looking dead on. However, I did put on a lot of product, but I feel like the highlight is in between a blinding highlight and a subtle highlight. It's like that perfect in between really pretty glow. It is rainbow, but it doesn't come off rainbow whatsoever. Look at this huge zit. It like hurts. It hurts to look at it, okay? I told you guys, I always, whenever I get a zit, it can't be just like a little pimple come up and go. It has to be the worst zit that sits there for a week and festers and is like under the skin. It hurts. They always have to be painful, but do you see how it's like a perfect in between? Look at the pilly. I'm screaming right now, guys. I'm screaming on the inside. Get off of my face. What did I do to deserve this? <gasps> I think the highlight's pretty. I do not think this, I put too much on my nose. I do not think this highlight is a gimmick. Don't go in with too much. I think it works best on a lighter skin tone. Um, I put a little too much on. I got a little crazy. I normally do that anyways. But it's pretty, you know, it's like pretty. Next, we have such an interesting product. We all know that this has just been talked about so much. Was reading up on the product and they really say that this product is good for a couple different things, like for artsy eyeliner, mostly for like a thin liner across. Um, and you could do a wing with it, but I, I see that the liner was mostly made for just like thin liner. So if you don't know what it is, let me actually show you. It is an eyeliner, but it's on a little wheel and the wheel is supposed to just like roll. Oh my God, look at that. Roll across your eye, like a little car wheel, like wee, wee, wee. And you're supposed to be able to get some liner out. It's a very interesting product. And what I'm gonna try to do is create a thin wing liner. I can't get it off my face because it's hard to see. Here we go. I keep blinking.
So I drew a straight line across and a lot of, I was surprised like at how black it was and like the quality of the actual liner is really nice. This is a slightly gimmicky but let me just keep trying it. Just being honest like I feel like this just made doing wing liner a little bit difficult. I mean, if you're trying to do regular liner with it it's not that bad, but if you're like trying to do a wing with it, it's actually really difficult. I'm just struggling so hard on over here with it, and I, I just can't get that sharp point in that I want out of it. It's a very difficult liner to use. Also, it is very, very black, so I like that about it, but it shines shimmery and shiny. I don't like shiny eyeliners. I've said that so many times on my channel. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. It's a gimmick. It's a gimmick. I'm not doing this. Next, I have an interesting product from Winky Lux. This is a newer brand. It may not be newer, but I haven't really used their products before. And these are like pill lipsticks. They're also like the tiniest lipsticks ever. And if you can see, you roll them out in a little lipstick tube. So this is what they look like. How cute are they? I want you to be able to visualize. Look how tiny it is. It's so cute. This is the shape of a pill. I do wish that the end of it wasn't rounded because that's kind of hard to like get around the corners of your mouth. But... Could you imagine trying to find this in your purse? How funny are these? I just think they're so cute. Also, I love little things. I just think it's the cutest thing in the world when things are teeny tiny or like sample size of things. I just love it. No matter how practical it is. I love it. So here, I, oh my God, look at that pigmentation from this little booger. This is like the most power punch in a little mini I've ever seen. One little problem with it, I find that it's so hard to get it, see how it's like rigidly? It's like really hard to get it smooth around the lips because of the shape of the lipstick. So let's try another color. I know that was a bold color, so maybe we'll try the lighter pink color in it. All right, we got this color. It's so cute, it's just a little, little, little baby. Okay, here I go. Again, lots of pigment doable you can definitely get it right you just have to take a lot of time it's a little hard to hold because it's a pin pill form but it's so freaking cute and I don't hate it I like them these are not a gimmick I mean they look great I'm gonna take this off because we have another cool product to try out and this is our last product to try it's another lipstick that's why I keep wiping my mouth in case you're wondering why I'm like <laughs> It's for a reason. I found this off of Amazon. It came in with like a broken tube, which was like cracked and interesting to me. I was like, okay. This is Glow Me Up um, lipstick, and it is supposed to be a glow in the dark lipstick. I got the shade Violet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna film this part on my iPhone. I'm gonna apply it right here, and then I'm gonna go in my closet where I know it's just like the darkest. And then I'm going to turn the lights off, close the door, and we're gonna film and see if I'm glowing in the dark. There we go, got it open. Super purpley, but the tube's like faulty look. Oh, there it goes, it stays up. All right, who cares? Is it a glow in the dark lipstick? I think this is supposed to be like really cool. So we will ignore the packaging. I applied a lot of layers of it because it went on a little bit thin. So I just went back and forth and just applied a lot of layers. So now let's go in the closet and check it out. Guys, we're in the dark. As you can, I don't know if you can see me. Hello, we're in the dark. And it is not glowing in the dark at all it does not work this is 100 a flop this is 100 percent a flop can you see me now now we're in the dark <laughs> why didn't it work guys that is it for this video we tried out a bunch of weird products some were actually a lot were a gimmick today but we did have a couple products work out and my liner looks like i'm a crazy person <laughs> But anyways, thank you guys so much for being here and watching. I appreciate it. Be sure and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye. Yeah, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys. Look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. Oh, look at that wasp nest. Oh, my good girl. Fix your hair.